Hey there again everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree DIY for you. And this is in collaboration with my YouTube friend, Araceli Chan. You may be familiar with her or maybe even subscribe to her channel. She is a fellow YouTuber who is doing a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs as well. And she has a lot of contents on her channel, not only Dollar Tree DIYs. Kind of like me, I try to delve into different items or different contents here on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed to her channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be linking her down below in the description box. And the video that we are in collaboration today is about lamps. So I'm going to be doing a glam version and she will be doing a rustic or farmhouse version. Back in June, we were having some email exchanges and I suggested to her that we should partner up and collaborate on videos here on our channel since we do something quite similar. I do farmhouse, she does farmhouse, I do sometimes glams and she does a lot of glams as well. So the idea is whatever our project is, the other one is going to do the opposite style. So for our first project, it will be a lamp. So I'm going to be doing the glam version and she will be doing the farmhouse or rustic version. So as far as material goes, anything goes. So we're not sharing that with each other and then we will just both be surprised of the outcome. And hopefully you all will be surprised and enjoy this partnership. Okay, so let's get started. Here are the materials that we'll be using. One wire waste basket preferably the white one, two glass taper candle holders, two 7.25 inch glass cylinder vases, approximately eight rolls of this garden diamond wrap ribbon, and hot glue scissors or wire cutters, and E6000. Your light source, so I'm going to be using the press lights from the Dollar Tree and also one LED candle. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm just reusing a couple of my previous projects. So what I've done here is this 7-inch cylinder glass vase. I glued it on top of this glass candlestick holder. Okay, so I did that on both. And I've had this for a good two years now, and they still work well. And just, mind you, they're just hot glue. Okay, I know that if you yank them, of course, they're going to be removed. But I have another option for you. Instead of that, you can use also different types of bases. So this one is also from the Dollar Tree. They do sell different shapes and sizes. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to give it height because I'm going to be using a sub shade this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this upside down. Originally, I was going to be painting... Uh, spray painting maybe the vase or but I'm not gonna do it because I realized that with this light that I'm gonna use it will not show if I paint this silver okay and this one I can do away also with not painting this because I got it in white and what I'm gonna do here is I am going to be covering this with glam ribbons that I got in my recent haul. See this? Glam wrap. So I'm going to just wrap it around. You would probably need approximately 8 to 10 glam ribbons from the Dollar Tree. I was only able to find two rolls from my Dollar Tree so luckily I already have some in my stash. I do have in my stash this and I've had this for a while now and this is like the four inch wide roll these are the four inch wide roll that I got from e Favor Mart. And if you're interested, I'm going to be linking it in the description box below. Because if you buy something like this for your projects, it's even cheaper than getting it at the Dollar Tree. And if you're buying uh, in bulk other items, because I was buying items for my crafting and also in preparation for my sister, my younger sister, and also my daughter's wedding, I've been kind of prepping up for that so I was buying things in bulk so I think minimum purchase of $75 is free shipping okay so 
like I said, if you want to spray paint this silver, that's fine. But again, you'll be covering it anyway. So I don't think it's necessary. Okay. So I'm wrapping the wastebasket with the glam wraps. And I'm doing this strip by strip, row by row. Since the lamp shade that I'm using with the wastebasket is not even and it tapers off so it starts with a very narrow top and then it'll be wider towards the bottom so I'm starting from top and then ending at the bottom so what I'm doing is I'm cutting the strips and I'm cutting them and gluing them section by section not the entire strips so that I don't waste also my glue so what I'm doing is per row I have a starting point and an end point and I make sure that the start point and the end point meet at the same spot for all rows so that's where I'm gonna start and end for all rows and that would be where I'm gonna be positioned towards the back because that's gonna show some seam somehow even though I try to make it as seamless as possible it's still gonna show so that's going to be the back part of my lampshade. So I'm going to be fast forwarding here until we get to the very end. So that's the final strip here that I'm applying and finally I think for as long as it seems like an eternity I'm finally done and I'm thinking you probably would need up to 10 rolls of this. Now anyway um, I'm going to be using this poster board and there's a silver one here to cover this top since I didn't spray paint it and I didn't want to show the wiring from the waste basket so I'm going to be covering that with the silver metallic poster board so I'm just going to be tracing it and then cutting it to size Now, let's see, that should work. Now that the tough part is over, I'm going to go ahead and embellish this and this with the same bling. Yep, not done with the blings yet. And I'm going to be using this here just to embellish it. I'm going to be embellishing only the vase that I'm going to be using for the bottom part and not the top part because it's the one that's going to be visible. The top part will be covered by the lampshade. So the top doesn't need to be embellished. Sorry about that. You didn't see that first time. So I put in E6000 here to connect the two and also some hot glue. Just trying to make sure that I connect every sides correctly identical sides I will be cutting small strips around two rows and that's to cover the seams where I connected the two candlesticks I also cut a small strip like a single line single strip okay and then i am hot gluing it here okay just to hide the 
connection here when the glue was oozing out. Okay, so let me show you. And if I put my light, turn it on. See that? There's light going down, and then there's your lamp. That's how you do it. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Up to bottom. Sorry about the glare and outdoor light. But yeah, see that? It's illuminating. That's the reason why we need the glass. So that the light will go through. If you spray paint the glass, the light will not illuminate through. Here it is at night. Sorry, there's still some glue or hot glue webs there that I'm still going to be cleaning up. I just want to show how it looks like illuminated at night. And here it is where I added the LED candle from the Dollar Tree at the bottom. Four more pizzazz. Glam. So make sure that when you put the light, the type of light that you get at the Dollar Tree, this one, the one that you press on and off, it'll be upside down so that it illuminates through the glass. Yep. So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it to anyone who may be interested in the same project. And if you haven't subscribed yet to either my channel or to Araceli's channel, please click subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to head out to Araceli Chan's channel to watch her rustic farmhouse style lamp. I'm excited for you to see that as well. Also, leave some comments down below. Hope you all are having a great day. Talk to you again in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.